Lenovo laptops are one of the worst out there. They are expensive, but at the same time the quality is very low. Look at the Lenovo keyboard on a very expensive Yogo Pro convertible laptop. The keycaps are covered with film and the inscriptions are cut through it, so that the LED backlight can come through it. Basically, it's as durable as paper and is very easily scratched. Anyway, another common problem is when USB stops working, saying that the last connected USB device was not recognized. Or Wi-Fi disappears from computer, you can find the adapter in Device Manager, but it is hidden and it says that device is not connected to the system. Bluetooth may work or may not, which is strange because it is on the same board with the Wi-Fi. Anyway, the fix is quite easy. Normally that's a Windows problem, so instead of going back from say Windows 10 to Windows 8, you can just go to the system BIOS, disable wireless there, load into Windows, shut down the computer again, load into BIOS again, re-enable wireless and go back to Windows. Your Wi-Fi adapter will pop up, I already made a video about that. But this wasn't the case. In my case, Wi-Fi disappears when I carry my laptop a lot, like to the airport. In this case, the fix is also easy, but you have to open your laptop. Before doing that, make sure that the laptop is turned off and you don't have the AC adapter connected. They use those fucking Torx screws. Initially, they were a measure to prevent users from opening their laptops, which is stupid, because you still can find that Torx screwdriver is just not very common, and the fact that you have to search and purchase it frustrates the shit out of you. Anyway, unscrew all the Torx screws, open the lid, and go to this corner of the computer where the non-working USB port is. This small card is the wireless slash Bluetooth adapter and it is secured with a screw. Make sure the card is fastened well enough and doesn't fall off. Also, as you can see, the Wi-Fi and the USB is on the same little board which is connected to the other circuits with this ribbon cable. What you have to do is to pop out this connector and then connect it back again, making sure it fits good. I think that during transportation this connector gets loose and some of the pins get disconnected. That's why you have those disappearing problems. Sometimes Wi-Fi works, sometimes not. Bluetooth works, Wi-Fi doesn't work. USB works, but then suddenly stops to work. That's the problem. This connector is not secured well enough, so the whole board is not connected to the main board. So snap it back in then assemble everything back in, and now everything is working.